Hello everyone, my name is Arthur Lockman and today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about Creative Suite 5 workflow. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go from a design document all the way to a web application. What you can see I have here is the same simple nav application that we've had before, except I've added a little login button over here. This will, and I've also created, as you can see, a blank login state. We'll add content to this state later. Now, it's exactly the same as it was before, before we brought it into Catalyst, if you remember. What we're going to do, we're going to go over to Flash Catalyst. I've already created a starter for this project to save some time. While it's waiting, we'll quit out of Illustrator. And what I've already gone and done is created all of our button interactions. So you see all these buttons go to the correct states just like we have done before. Now, this login button over here, it doesn't do anything right now except go to the state login. So we want to add some content to this login state. Well, what we can do, we'll get a rounded rectangle. Drag it on here as a kind of window. We'll make it we'll make it red. And we'll make it a little bit bigger. So what we want to do, it's a login. So we want to have a couple of text inputs here. Now these, this is using the wireframe components that are built right into Flash Catalyst. These will translate later into components in a Flex application that we're going to build with this. I want to add a text label. Call this a username. Oh, wait a second, username user name okay make that the correct size put it down there copy and paste it so we can use it again this one make say password All right. so we have our two fields defined now we want to make a button we could draw another rounded ellipse a rounded rectangle and call it a button here however we're just going to use our wireframe button component make it a little bit bigger and we'll label it login okay so now if we build and run this application which takes a little time because it's never been built before our web browser opens And now, you can see that all these states go to the correct places. And the login button will bring up our login fields, which we can type into. However, it doesn't currently do anything. So, we want to make it do something. Well, you'd think we can just go and look at the code. Right? Well, that's not exactly the case. We can see all of our code. Here's all our button handlers. Our transitions, our states, everything is here, except in Flash Catalyst, you cannot edit the code. So, what are we going to do? Well, we are going to save this, and we're going to go over to Flash Builder. Now, what we can do in Flash Builder, we'll close this project. Close. We can import a Flex project from Catalyst, so that's what we're going to do. Go to tutorials, call the simple nav start login starter, and finish. What this is going to do is extract a copy to our workspace and allow us to add some code to our project. Drill down to the source, main, main. Okay, so you can see here we have all of our button handlers that makes the buttons do things. Have all this stuff and we have our buttons. Now the one button that we need to find is our login button because that's going to allow us to create login. So we'll go to our login state. This button needs to have an action. Have it generate an event handler. Okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to say 
We haven't created an HTTP service for this yet, but what we're going to do is we'll create one later and we'll call it login service dot send. Good. And now, when it comes back in, we had already built in our previous tutorial, we'll open our login project, we had already built a login checker, and we'll use that same login check for this project. So our login application oh, has opened. Go back here to our source, open our login.mxml file, and you can see here we have all of this stuff already done. Here's our if statement, which will do our login auth check. Actually, we'll copy this entire block. Apple C for copy, Apple V for paste. And what else we're going to do? We'll go down here. We have this nice HTTP service that we had built before. As you can see, its ID is login service, which will match up nicely with up here. Its URL will go to our Flex login page. Its method is post, and it will show the busy cursor. That needs to go inside of our... Scroll way down. As you can see, Catalyst generates a lot of code. That needs to go inside of... Where does that need to go? Well, let's think. It sh we should be able to put it right here after the states. And it should work just fine. We'll comment this out. Call it login service. We'll go there. If the comment takes. It doesn't appear to be taking, so we'll get rid of it. All right. We have all this have our login service. Now the only problem with this right now is that these fields are not called username and password. Let's fix that. Go back to our design view. This username field, we need to give it an ID. We'll call it username. How about that? The password, rename all references. Perfect. Call this password. Rename all references. Perfect. Now we have some errors in our project. I'm not exactly sure what those errors are. Let's take a look. It says use of undefined property MX. Well that's because as you can see up here our MX namespace is not defined. Well that's a problem. So we're gonna have to define it. Go back over here copy our MX namespace Put it right here at the beginning. Now we should not have any problems. It appears we still have problems. Access of undefined property MX. Well, let's try if we go with S controls. Save. Well, that doesn't work either. So what we're going to do is have this print to the console or something. In any case, if we get rid of this, have our login service dot send, say mx dot controls, try this again, controls dot alert dot show, and we'll have it show some text. Login service send. Oh, now we have a problem down here with our HTTP service. Must be within the declarations. So let's find declarations. It's not there. Well, that's a problem. We need to make it. As you can see, the code that Catalyst makes is very unclean. And so we have to use our code what? What is this? Ah, see we call this username and password. Okay. Now we have no build problem. So let's see what happens when we build the application. Sorry, this took me a little bit. We went through a little bit of debugging, which is also very good. It loads. You can see that we go through all the states as we should. 
and we click on login we go to our login state we type in username username password password login service sent which means that our code is successful so that's all I have for this training not exactly sure what I'm gonna do for the next one yet but keep watching my blog and I will post a new one soon I'll see you all later